is the brain of people with ADHD different in a way? So the answer is yes, but unfortunately, this is not helpful uh, in the clinical practice. So let me explain. So um, this is a complex figure. Once again, I will not go into the detail, but I just put in the, this here to show you that you know, this is the, the, the picture of the brain and all the areas that are colored here with colors have been found to be somehow different in uh, people with ADHD. Well, um, a long time ago, we used to say that ADHD is the problem of the frontal area, this frontal part of the brain, because we know that this is involved in attention, concentration. So this turned out to be quite naive, actually. Now we know that there are a lot of areas in the brain which may be um, different in individuals with ADHD. However, there are two uh, things to say about this. First, that it is not just the individual area of the brain, it's the way how these different areas interact with each other. So it's a problem of communication among different areas. It's not a problem of a deficit in a single part of the brain. Secondly, um, if we take two children with ADHD, we may see that in the first one, for instance, this one and this one is different. But in the second child, perhaps this area here and this one in violet here are different. So um, these uh, are not specific. So things are quite complex. Also, how are different are they? So uh, we say that, for instance, this area is different because based on studies we have, we found that when we compare a group of children with ADHD to a group of children without ADHD, on average, this area is smaller in ADHD. But this is just an average from the group. It does not provide us information on the individual person. So this is very important. And it has implication for the diagnosis 